What the actual fuck? Oh man. <laughs> so this is what I come home to, you guys. This band is... <laughs> what even is this? What's going on, you guys? Slim finally here to give my thoughts on our band list. Uh, I was at work, so a new job today, and it literally dropped while I was there, so I didn't see any of this. List got spoiled for me, so it ain't gonna be a live reaction. I saw most of the stuff. All I can say is, <laughs> seriously, what the fuck is this? Like, this list is so weird. I, I don't even know where to begin. I guess I'll begin with what's forbidden. <laughs> One card forbidden, and it's Barrage. No Verde. No Dragoon. Uh, <laughs> like what? This is the only forbidden card. It's literally Barrage. Now, Barrage, I think, is actually not a horrible hit. It's definitely not what I thought. I know the card was at one, and I think of all the powerful one ofs that, that players wanted to get hit uh, Imperial Order, uh, Call by the Grave, like all these potential cards. <laughs> and this was the card they chose to ban. I mean, all right. Sorry, Tri Brigade. Sorry, Zoo. Like, I guess you get hit in that sense, but. We'll see what else, but yeah, that's the only forbidden card. I'll go through this stuff and then I'll give you guys my honest thoughts. I'm going to keep this super quick because, like I said, the list did get spoiled for me, but I'm going over it again because it's been a couple hours since I've seen it. But yeah, this is, uh, they hit Barrage. I mean, they hit, like I said, they hit Tri Brigade, they hit Zoo, they hit Beast Warrior decks in general, unfortunately. So yeah, this card, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So this is where it got crazy. So they hit Ava. Okay, that that's fine. So the funny thing is, I did predict this in my prediction. However, I didn't take into account that most of the Dragon list before, uh, they only played one. <laughs> they only played one, and now, basically, that's it. Like, Dragon is fine. They lost one Ava. They didn't hit anything else. They hit one Ava. <laughs> like, that's it. Like, the deck is literally still basically untouched. That's crazy. The thing that did blow my mind, though, is they actually limited Meow Meow Mew to one. Now, if you remember, I did not know what to hit in Prank Kids. I literally did not know. I thought, okay, maybe they hit the Rooster. Maybe they hit the Cat. Maybe they hit Place because it's a Rota. They chose to just flat out hit out hit me, Meow Meow Mew. So what does that do for Prank Kids? It literally makes their follow-up terrible. So that's crazy. Uh, that's actually, like, a crazy hit. Like, if you wanted Prank Kids to get hit in a way, this was definitely definitely a way to do it so i actually was quite shocked they actually went for this like this is nuts like they actually put me and my Mew to one and then they hit tanky to one we definitely called that like i'll admit like i i definitely did not get barrage right but for the limited i'm quite content that yeah i said able to maybe one and then tanky to one for sure i think this is the least surprising thing on here all i know is damn did they hit tri brigade in a way they hit the consistency for sure this is the only limited section so they didn't hit anything else uh they didn't hit revolt so with revolt not getting hit they still have to revolt so the deck is basically it just lost consistency it just lost consistency that they have one tanky and then they just play the rest of the tri brigade monsters now they're gonna have to max out um they'll probably still play desires like they literally are still fine so yeah it, it, it that's it like it's limited and where where's where's colossus there's no colossus there's no electromite there's nothing like they didn't bring back anything like this list reminds me of that list before that only had a few changes that didn't really super impact the format but it's pretty crazy but that's it for limited like just hitting these but again we'll go over the rest and then we'll talk about it and then semi-limited so there's actually a semi-limited section i'm not gonna lie i'm super happy for two danger nessie i love danger monsters the fact that you get to play two now is just cool does it make dangerous any better no like cool you get a second nessie uh suchinoko and jackalope are still at one so unless they decide to bring them back which would be interesting if they decide to bring them back on the next list bring jack to two and bring suchinoko to two eventually like that'd be pretty wild then dangers would at least be you know you'd have more extenders in other decks so that's pretty crazy i'm super happy for nessie though that's just me like uh, that's just a personal one and then they brought back the firm pile skull power back joker too wow like shout out to trip like i know there's another pendulum hit on here that they they brought something else back so that's pretty crazy so they are trying to give a slight bump to pendulums without bringing back electromite so that's pretty crazy skull crow back joker to two i think we had even said like this card could go to three and it would make a difference so they're slowly bringing it to two which probably means next list is probably going to three and then this one just out of left field like emergency teleport i didn't see that coming at all like teleport to two is crazy like this card has been at one for like ever like i can't remember the last time we had multiple copies of teleport uh this gives a boost to like if you want to play a card like ogre if you want to uh, in virtual world you can play an extra copy of teleport now like that's pretty wild i don't know what else it'll do for other decks but for any psychic 
deck-based decks, like the first thing that comes to mind is Virtual World. If they choose to put the second copy in the deck for more just like consistency plays, like that's pretty wild. And yeah, I just never thought I'd see the day where Teleport would come to two. Like that's just crazy to me. But yeah, Teleport to two. Yeah, like I said, I'm just happy for Nessie. Like that's just me. Like I'm just happy to see two Nessie. That's just cool to me, which makes me wonder if the dangers are coming back. Uh, the other two dangers are coming back in the next list. And then that's it for unlimited they brought double high risk magician to, 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 to three i swear i know trip has probably gone out of his mind i haven't watched any of the reactions since i was at work you guys i'm about to watch them all now but yo like pendulum's got the biggest buff like it, it's not even up for debate like they literally got the three double iris and they got the uh the two copies of skull crow bat joker so overall thoughts because like i said i want to keep it pretty straight to the point so barrage getting hit definitely didn't see it coming gives a hit to zodiacs and the zodiac tri brigade deck so that's where you know that's just it is what it is like this card is insane like this card is a god card in the deck i just did not think that this was going to be the card that they hit like dryden is gone now this card is gone if you're gonna play zoo monsters you literally just have to hard draw them and you have the one tanky so i guess that it kind of helps uh they didn't hit zeus at all so you can still play three zoos so pure zoo i mean if they can find a way like without the tankies i know there were some builds going around that weren't even playing tanky so it'll be wild to see like a pure zoo can still like rise up in the format um you know even minus like barrage and the, the two tankies so we'll see and then as far as this goes like ava i mean it's great but like literally now they just they play the deck like they were meant to like i've seen some pro players say that you only need one ava all along so literally they just played the deck basically how they have there were no other hits to the drytron deck so that's pretty crazy drytron is still up there uh probably i would say it's probably now higher than uh tri brigade for sure due to these hits and then prank kids took a major hit i know this is a major hit for, hit for the follow-up play prank kids will kind of have to play like how they used to play before however they still get their turn one play it just really depends on how they can capitalize on that follow-up and then tanky like i said this was the one that i really thought for sure was going to happen and it did tanky going to one doesn't surprise me at all and it just takes away the consistency of the zoo monsters and the tri brigade monsters but tri brigade can still be played even though it did get even though they did take those hits they still have revolt they still have everything else they had before so now it's just a matter of do they play uh because um, I know some lists were playing only two copies of one of the uh, one of the Tri Brigade monsters. Now do they just max out just to have maximum consistency, like trying to see a Tri Brigade monster? Like they definitely lost some consistency, but they can definitely add in other cards to up that consistency. Like cards like Cross Out Designator, you already know with it coming out, can easily fill the slots of like missed cards. So I don't think it really makes a huge difference. And then again. Just going over the step I limited, Danger Nessie. I'm super happy just to see it at two just because I really like Dangers. That's just a personal thing. Uh, and then the buff to Pendulums, buff to Virtual World and Psychic decks, and then finally the last buff to Pendulums. But overall, I think the list kind of sucks. Like, it's not, like, what I wanted it to be. I'm sure it's not what a lot of you guys wanted it to be. It's just very underwhelming, but yeah where's where's colossus like literally where's colossus where's electromite like where's like the i guess dragoon is here to stay for like ever yo shout out to guru dragoon i guess you're just here forever now like you still got multiple birthdays and you still got dragoon like that's just wild they addressed it like not at all they just didn't even care but that's it you guys i don't know what else to say like i even if this was like a live reaction i wouldn't even know what to say because this list was super underwhelming but let me know your thoughts in the comments below i know this video isn't like how i usually do it but again this is just because I, I wasn't gonna have a live reaction it wouldn't be genuine and i ain't gonna do you guys like that you guys already know but yeah overall i the list is whatever I, i'm not super impressed by it i think it does a couple things but nothing major i think our format is still pretty much the same players are just gonna fill in the missing space the missing cards with other cards and we're just gonna see what happens in the format but let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below if you're a pendulum player how do you like the how do you like the buffs back to your deck like you get some extra cards to play with i think that's awesome i know triff is all over it so we'll definitely see a lot of stuff coming from him soon so if you guys are playing pendulums i think you guys have got a major buff and i'm just happy nessie came in too like honestly that's the only cool thing on this list everything else and i mean i guess meow meow Mew going to one is cool i guess there'll be less prank kids or if they are they'll find ways to adapt but yeah it's pretty wild but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you like the list do you not like the list i'm sure a lot of you don't like the list they definitely could have done more and yeah, we'll see what happens in the future. But yeah, that's all I got you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.